Welcome to the Pebble Beach Concord Delegants. I'm Colin Feitmeyer. I'm a chief class judge for class A1, which is American Antiques. I'm on the selection committee and we're in the 18th fairway of Pebble Beach. The Concord began with a lot of new cars being displayed for essentially promotional by dealers. It has morphed into a car show. Initially, this was import cars, brand new Jaguars, MGs would be on the field. Today, no new cars are on the field. This is a celebration of style from the past now. The Concorde began as a side component to the races that happened in Pebble Beach, and today it is the focal point of what's become the largest car week in the world. Pebble Beach, 51 weeks out of the year, is one of the greatest golf destinations in the world. People fly all over the country to play here. One week out of the year, it's all cars. And I think there are golfers that are here occasionally and they're shocked to see how the golf course changes into a show field for 220 cars. It's a small city that gets built out here with tents, construction workers, both paid and volunteer to make this happen for one day out of the year. So Pebble Beach Concord this year is going to celebrate 100 years of Bentley. There are going to be almost 60 Bentleys on the field, starting with the very earliest all the way through the coach-built cars of the 50s. They're also celebrating 100 years of Zagato, which is an Italian coach builder known for very lightweight sporting cars. We're also featuring a class of Thomas Flyer cars, which was a brand that went out of business in 1913, but was a hugely popular brand prior to that, especially for winning an around the world race. The car that won the race from New York to Paris, the long way across the United States and across Asia and Europe, will be on the field on Sunday. We are also featuring a class of hot rod cover cars, which are cars that when they were built in period in the 40s, 50s, and 60s, were then featured on the cover of hot rod magazines, which was the dream of all hot rodders at that time. So being a judge this week is relatively stress-free until Sunday. All your preparation should be done by now. You know the cars that you're judging, you've done your research, and you've studied not only the cars that are going to be coming, but the history of those manufacturers and everything else to make sure that you're tuned up on everything you need to know. The easiest part of judging is when you find something that stands out to you. That is an obvious mistake, uh, a Phillips head screw on a 1910 car. In general, especially at Pebble Beach, we don't see many shortcuts. We don't see people rounding edges. You have to really start looking into the finishes of the car. And that can mean both ways, over-restored and under-restored. We see a, a lot of pinstriping that has waves in it that you can surf on, you know? And then the flip side is you'll see ones that it's just, you know, everything's just so laser straight and lined up. And you think, well, when it came out of the factory, the guy that put that screw together wasn't looking at all the other stuff. It's a balance in there, a little bit of a, of a feel, and that's why you have a team of judges where the three of you can discuss and conference about what each of you saw differently, because there's a lot of cars that are done and finished in a hurry, but in general, everything's done to a very high level, which part of it makes our job a lot harder. So the Tour de Elegance happens on Thursday before the Pebble Beach Concours, and it's a tour of about 70 to 80 miles that goes around the Monterey Peninsula. It starts in Pebble Beach, goes out to Carmel Valley, down to Big Sur, and then comes back into Carmel for a lunch. It's open to any car that's entered into the Pebble Beach Concours, as well as the few cars that do the Pebble Beach Motoring Classic, which is a drive from Kirkland, Washington, down to Pebble Beach over 10 days prior to the show. The entire 70, 80 miles is lined with photographers and spectators. When you're on it, you feel like a celebrity when you pull into Carmel. It's free to the public to watch, and it's really a great event that kicks off the Pebble Beach week. It shows the public that the cars are not only beautiful, but they're also very functional, and they do what they were designed to do, and that's to move.